Veins. Did it work? Wow. I really hate TikTok. Yet, yeah, why am I watching it? LA Bunties! Warn up, what do you want? And why are you dressed like an e-boy? Well, mate, I heard you didn't like TikTok, but I'm here to tell you that there's actually some good bands that came from TikTok. Or that we talk about rock and metal and yeah, sometimes pop punk, but I don't think we want to talk about some, you know, TikTok pop punk stuff. Oh, why not, mate? It's, it sounds just like Blink-182. Well, because I think the audience here is going to hate it. <laughs> He's going to talk about e-boy stuff? Why don't I watch this poser? <laughs> What are you doing here with that camera? Uh, we're filming you. Also, if you hate him so much, why do you watch his videos? I don't secretly like watching his videos. Uh, he's a poser and, and he deserves the hate. Okay, then that explains why you're wearing a Midway shirt. Uh, uh, I'm not wearing a Midway shirt. Uh, uh, I'm not secretly a fan. Get out of my house! Uh, who needs you anyway, mate? You're just a boomer like everybody else. I'm just gonna talk to the audience about why this whole TikTok pop punk e-boy thing is actually a pretty good thing. I swear to God, if this is an ordat based video, I will fuck- Hey, Bottis! Uh, but, uh, let's, just, let, let's cut that out for a little bit, because, I mean, we already did that. Ah, uh, another one can't hurt. Hello guys, today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to be an e-boy, or a TikTok star, or a pop punk artist of this generation, or somebody that Travis Barker collaborated with. Anyways, the whole e-boy thing is becoming huge now, and you guys want to capitalize on it. Alright, step one, go viral. It doesn't matter what you do on TikTok, because honestly, it doesn't take any talent. Alright mates, so this is for those who don't know how to dance. Because it's okay, I don't know how to dance either, mates. Now, you can do some simple stuff to make it look like you know how to dance. Yeah, I mean, you can do the little thingy thing here. Yeah, you guys remember this one, mates? Oh, you can't even see my feet. Or, or you can do a little army wave thingy. Yeah, these people would love this one. Or you can do the move I like to do, and it's called the hospital kick. Oh! Oh, mate, that fucking hurt. But that's okay, mates. You don't really have to dance on TikTok. What you can also do as an e-boy is you can basically seduce your own fan base. It's all you really gotta do is look at the camera and just talk to it in a really low voice. And look at it very slowly like this. And curve your face like this a little bit. Gotta go up and say, hey, you know you like me. Step two. Build a TikTok following. All right, that hospital kick got me a hundred likes on TikTok. I'm practically TikTok famous. I'm gonna go tell my dad about this. Hey dad, remember when you said it wasn't gonna amount to anything? Well guess what? I got a hundred followers on my TikTok now. Take that. Who are you? Uh, you're my dad. I'm not your dad. I see how it is, dad. <laughs> I see how it is. Okay. Wow. What a f***ing <laughs> weirdo. Step three. After you become famous, have a mediocre rap career. Oh, well, Orda, you say you're a rapper now? Yes, I do rap. And I will tell you this, every rapper I know, they're inspired by the same people, you know, same boring people, Tupac, Biggie Smalls, Eminem for some reason, but me, I'm different. I'm inspired by the best rapper of all time. Uh, Dr. Dre? No, mate, who the f*** is Dr. Dre? I'm talking about Dr. Seuss. Yo, yo, red fish, blue fish, green fish, blue fish, I'm like the cat in a hat, and so are you. Bitch. Step four, call up Travis Barker. Uh, so I got myself a collaboration with Travis Barker. Pretty sure you guys have heard of it already. <laughs> yeah. All right, and send. <laughs> what? He collabs with everybody. Why do you guys think he's not gonna collab with me? You realize you can't rap, but you do remember how to play guitar. Why not take advantage of that? Uh, All right, come up with something right there. And then uh, I go up. Uh, 
I do that for the rest of the song. All right, I think I got something. That, that's pretty good. And then the solo's gonna be, and uh, mate, this is hard. I don't know how Machine Gun Kelly does it. Try this. Come right back to top parts. Make sure you learn how to dress like an e-boy, because again, this whole music thing, it's all about style over substance. Your talent doesn't matter. All right, mates, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make an e-boy outfit. So the most important things you're gonna need are striped shirts. As you can tell, I got a one red striped shirt. Get yourself some long sleeve striped shirts so you can put it over some short sleeve shirts so you can look, you know, pretty cool. You know, I wear long sleeve shirts over short sleeve shirts over long sleeve shirts. I wear long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts under long sleeve shirts. In fact, don't just go for one color, go for multiple colors. I got this green one, I got this purple one, this green one's connected to my Invader Zim shirt. And yeah, you can match it with some black jeans, or if you want to be like one of the cool kids, get yourself some cool half and half jeans like these, because they look cooler. And you're wondering, where can I get jeans like that too? Hottopic.com LET'S GO! Sorry, this video is not sponsored still. And to end off your outfit, you need some shoes. And the best shoes you could get are some Vans. I prefer the checkered Vans because they almost match with everything, especially if you're wearing white stripes. Or if you want to scare the grandmamas at the mall, get yourself some of these heavy pneumonia boots. While you're doing your style, wear band shirts. It doesn't matter if you don't know the band. Just, just make sure to wear the edgiest band shirt there is. It'll make you look cool and you'll get some points from some rock and metal fan that don't even know that you listen to these bands. It really doesn't matter. Do you really listen to Slipknot? Of course I listen to Slipknot, mate. You calling me a poser? Well, no. I, I mean, you barely talk about rock bands. Uh, you know, before I was listening to a bunch of rap stuff, I, I listened to a bunch of rock stuff, you know, mate? Uh, Slipknot was one of my biggest inspirations back then because, I mean, you know, the song Damn It really spoke to me. Talked about growing up and your girlfriend leaving you and stuff like that. That really got me. Uh... Damn it is by Blink-182, not Slipknot. What the fuck is Blink-182? Alright, you got your long sleeve stripes, and now you're wondering, what do I put over? I highly recommend some good bands like Slipknot. And honestly, you don't even have to listen to these bands. Just get it for how edgy it looks. You know, I got the Slipknot shirt because look, ooh, it's scary, makes me look edgy, and I love it. I love when people look at me. You can also go for something like this. It's a little edgy. If you're a weeb, I don't even know who this band is either. Midway, Brankway, I don't, I don't even know what that is. But yeah, you could go for something like that. Final step, stop beef with a metal band. You know, I was once a fan of this band called Midway Breakway. The band was ran by some YouTuber who called himself a metalhead YouTuber, but he barely even talked about metal. He just talked about metalcore and pop punk stuff. It's, man, that guy's a real poser. And his band is considered metalcore, but to me, I call it faux metalcore. Honestly, this guy really sucks. And I, the reason why I'm talking shit about them right now is because they made some merch that looked like this. What is this, mates? What did you try to do here? What you try to do? Get some weeb fan base or something? I wish I could live, yet you keep dancing on my grave. What was that? I know it's one of the songs, but still, mate, like... Edgy much? My god. Uh, Orda, why are you talking shit about the band and the channel that you're a part of? Oh my god, when did you get here? Uh, dude, I was standing here this entire time. And also, I've been hearing that you're an e-boy now. Uh, I'm just, you know, trying to get in with the times, mate, you know? Uh, the kids love this and I'm just trying to get us some promotion. Okay, that's totally valid. But also, Ordep, you gotta remember, just because it's popular doesn't mean it's gonna last for too long. Trends come and go, and the whole e-boy thing actually came from nostalgia of the whole emo thing, and it just kind of evolved. So think of it as like emo 2.0, but without the good music. But then again, who knows, someday we might look back to this and be like, hey, this was actually a good era for alternative culture. Ah, uh, okay. But wait a minute, are you telling me I should stay as an e-boy? Oh, fuck no! You thought I was gonna let you be an e-boy? In this channel? <laughs> Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And also, follow me on Instagram. And also, follow my band members on Instagram. Because, you know, they would love some followers as well. And speaking of my band, my band has released some new merch on our merch store. Definitely go check it out. It's on a link in the description below. And we have a cool shirt like this one that I have right now with the awesome Wish I Could Live Yet You Keep Dancing on My Grave. You know, one of our songs, if you haven't listened to us yet. Definitely check us out on Spotify. But yeah, thank you guys for watching.